Hello children. Today we are going to study something about an important phenomena that is called as photosynthesis. As you all know that it is a process by which autotrophic organisms that is the green plants they prepare their own food. Regarding photosynthesis, it is a biochemical process of manufacture of organic food from carbon dioxide in water with the help of solar energy inside chlorophyll containing cells. Oxygen is liberated. Simple carbohydrate or sugar is the main product from which other organic substances are formed. The equation for photosynthesis is CO2 that is carbon dioxide combines with water molecules in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll release the products as glucose that is C6H12O6 plus oxygen is released and water is also released as a byproduct of this reaction. Excess of glucose is stored as starch to function as internal energy reserve to be used as and when required. It is similar to storage of glycogen as energy reserve in our body. Most of the photosynthesis occurs in leaves which are green in color due to chlorophyll. Small amount of photosynthesis also takes place in young green stems. Regarding the raw materials or basic requirements of photosynthesis, there are four basic things which are required. The first and foremost uh, raw material for photosynthesis is the presence of chlorophyll. The second is carbon dioxide. The third one is water. And the fourth is light that is solar energy. Now regarding chlorophyll, plants possess pig pigment molecules for absorption of light energy. There are three types of photosynthetic pigments. These are the green chlorophyll, chlorophylls, orange colored carotenes and yellowish xanthophylls. So chlorophyll pigments are of three types. The green pigments are the chlorophyll pigments. The orange pigments are the carotenes. And the yellowish pigments are xanthophylls. Carotenes and xanthophylls are collectively called carotenoids. Chlorophylls are of two main types, chlorophyll A and chlorophyll B. Chlorophyll A is called primary photosynthetic pigment as it takes part in the conversion of light energy into chemical energy. Other pigments absorb light energy of various wavelengths and hand over the energy to chlorophyll A molecules through resonance. The second most important basic requirement for photosynthesis is carbon dioxide. The land plants obtain it from the atmosphere while aquatic plants absorb the same from water. Atmosphere contains about 0.036% of carbon dioxide. It enters the leaves through stomata. Stomata function as turgor operated valves. Their guard cells are thicker on the inner side and thinner on the outer side. The third most important raw material for photosynthesis is water. Land plants absorb water from soil through their roots. The absorbed water is transported to photosynthetic areas through xylem. Minerals are also transported along with water. They are used in synthesis of different organic substances like sulfur in proteins, phosphorus in nucleic acids, magnesium in chlorophyll, etc. 99% of the absorbed water is lost through transpiration. Only a small quantity of water is used in photosynthesis as hydrogen donor. The next and most important raw material for photosynthesis is light. That is, plants receive light from sun. 
that is called as solar energy for plants sun is the basic source of radiant energy now visible part of the electromagnetic radiations is responsible for photosynthesis its wavelength normally ranges from 390 nanometer to 760 nanometer and the maximum photosynthesis occurs in the red region on the other hand minimum photosynthesis occurs in the green region of visible spectrum because green parts of plants reflect whole of the green light the next part of this is what are the various Uh, steps for the photosynthesis or in other words we can say the mechanism of photosynthesis photosynthesis basically is divided into two steps the first step is called as light reaction and the second step is called as a dark reaction it means the whole photosynthesis process it is completed by completing these two reactions only light reaction and dark reaction a light reaction is also called as a photochemical process and it was discovered by robert hill therefore it is also called as a hills reaction on the other hand dark reaction is called as a thermochemical reaction it was discovered by melvin kelvin and benson therefore it is also called as kelvin cycle when we study the details for the light reaction it in turn is divided into three steps let us study those steps in a tabular form it is divided into three steps the first step is called as photo excitation the second step is called as photolysis and the third step is called as photophosphorylation photo excitation involves the uh, receiving more light in the form of packets that is called as photons during this process chlorophyll molecule receives sunlight in the form of small energy bundles which are called as photons after receiving these photons the chlorophyll molecule become excited to higher energy level it gets excited to higher energy level the second step included in light reaction is called as photolysis it is also called as photo oxidation of water this is a reaction in which water molecule breaks up into hydrogen ions and oxygen molecule oxygen is liberated here as a by product and hydrogen ions are used for the reduction of nadp that is by equation nadp when it 
receives hydrogen ions it will be reduced to NADPH2 photophosphorylation is the third step of light reaction during this process ATP or energy is produced that is adenosine triphosphate which is a chemical form of energy it takes place in quantasomes magnesium ions and inorganic phosphate is required to convert ADP that is adenosine diphosphate into ATP this reaction takes place in the presence of magnesium ions so if we club together all the steps of the light reaction it is divided into three steps photo excitation photolysis photophosphorylation in photo excitation the chlorophyll molecule receives the sunlight in the form of energy packets which are called as photons in the second step the water molecule breaks up into hydrogen ions and oxygen is released these hydrogen ions are used for the reduction of NADP molecule to NADPH2 in the third step photophosphorylation energy is released in the form of ATP that is adenosine triphosphate the reaction for this is ADP combines with inorganic phosphate in the presence of magnesium ions then it will release ATP as energy the site for light reaction is grana portion of a chloroplast next step for photosynthesis is dark reaction it is again divided into three steps the first is called as carboxylation the second one is known as synthesis and the third step for dark reaction is called as regeneration in the, in the carboxylation process carbon dioxide is captured by carbon dioxide acceptors like rubp in c3 plants and pep in c4 plants these rubp and pep are the acceptors of carbon dioxide and they accept carbon dioxide in the presence of enzymes which are known as rubisco and the second enzyme is known as pepco for the second step of dark reaction the captured carbon dioxide is assimilated into glucose in the presence of phosphatase and isomerase enzymes and ribulose bisphosphate that is RUBP is regenerated back that is carbon dioxide which is which was captured by carbon dioxide acceptors in the first step it will help in the assimilation of glucose that is C6 H12 O6 or in other words we can say that glucose is synthesized in the second step of dark reaction which is called as synthesis the third and the final step for the dark reaction is regeneration regeneration means whatever carbon dioxide acceptors are present in plant whether it is a c3 plant like rubp this will be regenerated back so that the cycle can continue now the site for site for dark reaction is stroma 
of chloroplast. If we club all the steps of that reaction again, it consisted of three steps, carboxylation, synthesis, regeneration. In the first step, which is carboxylation, the carbon dioxide acceptors like RUBP and PEP in C3 and C4 plants receive carbon dioxide in the presence of enzymes like Rubisco and PAPCO. In the second step, whatever carbon dioxide is accepted by the carbon dioxide acceptors, that will give rise to or that will be assimilated into glucose. Ultimately, the glucose is released in the dark reaction of photosynthesis, which, are the, which is the main food for plants. In the third and the last step of dark reaction, that is called as regeneration, RUBP will be regenerated back. RUBP is ribulose bisphosphate. And the full form of PP is phosphophenol, phosphoenol pyrate.